What's going on, Fight Fans? This is Black Vengeance 28. Uh, sorry I've been gone for a while. Just uh, really haven't had a chance uh, to upload a video. This is going to be my post fight um, video on the Carl Froch and Andre Sonaga Ward bout, super middleweight bout that just took place. Uh, big props, congratulations to Son of God Ward. He did it, um, he did it handily. Um, what a fight. Dictated the pace with his with his actual left hook, double left hooks, jabs to the body. Um, just, you know, came forward, didn't retreat, didn't you know? He didn't do what I thought he was going to do because, you know, you asked me before the fight, I would have said, you know, he was going to basically just stay at a distance, you know, out jab him, <clears throat> and basically out point him. But he basically, you know, war came tonight to fight. Froch was really not ready to handle that. Um, uh, you know, I want to, before I, I, I'm, I just, I just want to go back, before I go and break this fight down, I want to give uh, Carl Froch big props. The man took his ass whipping like a man. At the end of the fight, he gave much respect to Ward. Uh, he, he said, just, you know, just didn't have it, didn't have it. Uh, you know, Ward was the much faster, sharper, uh, smarter fighter tonight. Um, you know, he said he could beat him if he fought him again, but I just think it'll be the same outcome. I just think that uh, Andre Ward is something special, spe something special for us to watch, to uh, keep watching. Um, I've, I've watched and followed his career very closely. This is going to be a this is going to be a really really good fighter. Um, in the next coming years. I mean, he's already a, a good fighter. I think he's going to be a great fighter. Uh, so, yeah, anyway, back to the fight. Basically, it just seemed to me as if Carl Froch believed he was going to be able to walk uh, Andre Ward down. Um, did not happen. In fact, it just seems to me that, uh, you know, Carl Froch, he's got a lot of things he needs to work on. Uh, like keeping his hands up. Um. You know, he needs a better defense. He needs to know that, you know, you can't just keep walking forward towards a guy. Just because you got a beard and you got a chin doesn't mean that, you know, you, that makes you a better or more elite fighter. Because as he, as he well knows tonight, and he got schooled tonight, you can have the toughest chin in the world. But if you can't hit your opponent, then it's going to be a long night for you. And uh, he, he felt that, you know, he got that tonight. I gave Carl Foch maybe... One to two rounds. I would say that would be the third round. And then I'd say that I'd give him like the, I want to say the tenth round. But that's just basically the tenth round I gave it to him because he, he, he actively chased Andre Ward. But um, as far as everything else, the more meaningful punches, the signature punches were landed by Andre Ward. Uh, again, like I said, the punch output was Ward, all Ward. <laughs> Just an outstanding fight overall. I mean, big props to Andre Ward. Um, so what's next? Um, me personally, I want to say I want to see Ward and Boutte, Lucian Boutte. I think if he beats Lucian Boutte, then you know, really, he's going to be probably one of the most feared uh, super middleweights. And you know, and the, if he cho so chooses as he gets older to move into the he the heavier weight divisions, he's going to even be more of a dangerous threat. Uh, the guy's only 27 years old, so this is just, uh, th tonight was a great performance, he put on a masterful performance in the ring, um, <clears throat> uh, I want to also go, let's go back to also, I want to talk about, now that I've discussed this fight, you know, discuss the two fighters in which it was about, I want to discuss Victor Ortiz and Andre Berto. I mean, I understand it's really the next logical thing for Andre Berto to do after he came back this past year. <clears throat> he put on a good fight in his last fight on HBO. So he's now on Showtime, and they're going to fight. He's gonna now going to fight or do basically to uh, what was done to him, he plans on doing to Victor Ortiz. In his next fight. I want to talk about this a little. Before the match between Andre Ward and Carl Froch. They had a little face-to-face -face meeting. And discussion. Victor Ortiz. I just want to say here. I think Victor Ortiz is a joke. 
I think the kid just really doesn't, he really shouldn't be given a shot to fight any of the top welterweights. Um, but then again, this is going to be my opinion, and I know a lot of dudes are going to disagree with me because they're going to, you know, and most of them probably will be Floyd Mayweather haters, but it is what it is. The guy, when he got put on the big stage, could not handle it mentally, and I consider Andre Berto, uh, you know, one of the top welterweights in the division. So, I mean, we'll just see how that goes, but um, I just don't like uh, Victor Ortiz's demeanor. I just don't like... The kid just seems like he's not not wrapped too tight. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, that was my breakdown video of this fight. Uh, I want to uh, give a big shout out to Seven Eight Fight News. Thanks for uh, sending me the link for your for your new videos. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. And uh, Blood Boxing, another good one. And uh, like I said, I'm looking real. I'm really looking forward to uh, 2012. The the fights this year. I mean, we had a pretty weak year. In 2011, but hopefully in uh, 2012 we'll get some real action-packed fights. All right, I'm out. Peace.